Step back into the world of small-town drama with the 1964 TV series Peyton Place. This classic show, featuring some of Hollywood's finest, has left a lasting impression on television history. Curious about which classic Hollywood actor stole the spotlight for you? Share your favorite in the comments below. But that's not all buckle up for a ride filled with funny, shocking, and downright emotional facts as you continue watching. The twists and turns in the show will keep you on the edge of your seat. Do you have a special memory associated with this timeless series? We'd love to hear your stories and experiences. Drop them in the comments section below and let the nostalgia flow. What's your most cherished Peyton Place memory? Share it with us and fellow fans in the comments. Your stories add a personal touch to the magic of this TV gem. Keep watching for more surprises and share your thoughts with us. The drama's not over yet, there's more to discover in Peyton Place. Step into the world of Peyton Place, a groundbreaking TV series that premiered in 1964 and made its mark in television history. Set in a small town, the show weaves a story filled with drama, secrets, and unexpected twists, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. The storyline unfolds against the backdrop of a tight-knit community exploring the lives of its residents. Peyton Place delves into the complexities of human relationships, showcasing the impact of hidden scandals and personal struggles within the seemingly tranquil town. The characters, each with their own stories, contribute to the series' appeal. The main characters, portrayed by some of Hollywood's finest, bring depth and authenticity to the narrative. Their performances have made these characters memorable, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. The show's ability to connect with audiences lies in its portrayal of relatable human experiences, making it a timeless classic. Peyton Place has stood the test of time and received recognition for its excellence. The series has achieved milestones and received accolades, solidifying its place in television history. The impact of Peyton Place goes beyond the screen as it continues to be a cultural touchstone, inspiring discussions among fans. As you journey through Peyton Place, share your thoughts and experiences. What moments left a lasting impression on you? The beauty of this TV gem lies in its ability to evoke personal stories and reflections from its audience. Join fellow fans in celebrating the magic of Peyton Place and the enduring legacy it has created. So, buckle up for a ride filled with laughter, shock, and heartfelt moments. Peyton Place is not just a TV show, it's a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends generations. Keep watching for more surprises and share your thoughts with us as the drama unfolds. In the midst of Peyton Place's popularity, Christopher Connolly became a focal point of attention. He received around 400 letters weekly from fans expressing admiration. This highlighted the broad appeal of the show. The connection between Connolly and co-star Patricia Morrow had a touch of Hollywood drama. Connolly later claimed that their dating was arranged by the studio for publicity, adding a layer of mystery to the off-screen story. Barbara Parkins, another notable figure from Peyton Place, gained immense popularity. Talks of a spin-off series titled The Girl from Peyton Place centered around her. Unfortunately, this planned project tailored for Parkins didn't materialize, leaving fans curious about what could have been. In the unfolding history of Peyton Place, these behind-the-scenes dynamics brought depth to the show's charm. Connolly's flood of fan letters highlighted the audience's fervent engagement, while the off-screen romantic entanglements added intrigue similar to on-screen drama. The unrealized spin-off for Parkins offered a glimpse into the significant impact of individual characters in the broader Peyton Place narrative. As the drama of the show played out on screen, so did the stories behind the scenes, shaping the narrative of this television series. The intimate details of Conley's fan mail, the staged romance with Morrow, and the unfulfilled spin-off for Parkins all contribute to the varied story that defines Peyton Place. Amidst the production of Peyton Place, Ed Nelson, reflecting on Mia Farrow's presence on set, remarked that she possessed an uncommon aura, leaving the impression that she could either excel or face a dire outcome. This candid observation shed light on the unpredictable nature of Farrow's demeanor during filming. In an unexpected turn of events in 1965, when Mia Farrow took an unannounced vacation, the show's writers swiftly introduced a coma storyline for her character. They kept the press in suspense, initially uncertain about the character's fate, emphasizing the show's ability to adapt to unforeseen circumstances. 
Jenna Rollins, known for her role, imposed a ban on cigars on the set due to her adverse reaction to them, stating that she turns green whenever one is in her vicinity. This personal preference added a unique touch to the backstage dynamics, revealing the actor's individual quirks. These behind-the-scenes revelations, from Pharaoh's unpredictable presence to the impromptu coma storyline and Roland's cigar aversion, provided an intimate glimpse into the complexities of working on Peyton Place. The cast's adaptability to challenges and the distinct preferences of its members added layers of intrigue to the production, making it more than just a small-town drama. Throughout its five-year network run, Peyton Place maintained a unique approach by exclusively airing original episodes, deviating from the typical primetime strategy of repeating them during the summer. This uncommon decision by ABC contributed to the show's consistent engagement with viewers, offering a continuous flow of fresh content. Warner Anderson, who initially portrayed Matthew Swain, transitioned off-screen after the first season but continued his involvement as the unseen narrator in subsequent episodes until the series' conclusion. Despite this pivotal role, he went uncredited for his narration work, showcasing dedication beyond his on-screen presence. Barbara Rush, unlike some of her counterparts, expressed genuine satisfaction with her experience on the show, describing it as an actor's paradise. She appreciated the creative freedom to infuse elements of her own personality into her character, along with the flexibility of the working schedule. Her positive sentiments offer a glimpse into the fulfilling environment the show provided for its cast members. The show's longevity also brought attention to Christopher Connolly, who received an impressive influx of around 400 fan letters weekly, underscoring the broad appeal of the series. Additionally, the off-screen romantic narrative involving him and co-star Patricia Morrow added an interesting layer to the overall story. Another notable figure, Barbara Parkins, found herself at the center of discussions for a potential spin-off series titled The Girl from Peyton Place. Despite the project not materializing, this unfulfilled venture provides insight into the significant role individual characters had on the broader narrative. As the series unfolded, behind-the-scenes dynamics, such as Ed Nelson's candid observations about Mia Farrow's presence and Jenna Rowland's imposing a cigar ban on set, added depth to the production. Farrow's unpredictable nature led to an unexpected coma storyline in 1965, showcasing the show's adaptability to unforeseen circumstances. In conclusion, Peyton places distinctive choices in content airing, the dedication of off-screen contributors like Warner Anderson, the positive experiences shared by Barbara Rush, and the off-screen narratives involving Christopher Connolly and Barbara Parkins collectively contribute to the show's allure. In a 1965 interview, Christopher Connolly shared worries about how long he'd stay in his role, thinking he might be removed. Despite these concerns, Connolly stuck with the series until it ended, proving his worries wrong. Originally, the plan was for Barbara Parkins' character, Betty Anderson, to have a tragic end in a car accident during the 11th episode. However, because Parkins was becoming more popular, the producers changed their minds and let the character stay in the show. Jill Rowland was supposed to play Selena Cross, a character with a dark story about killing her abusive stepfather. But ABC executives stepped in before the show started, and they decided not to include that part of the story. As a result, Rowland was dropped from the cast, and Selena's character took a different path. These backstage details give us a glimpse into the challenges faced in making decisions for Peyton Place. It shows how they had to balance developing characters, keeping the audience interested, and meeting the network's expectations. The show's success depended on navigating these challenges, providing a story that adapted to unexpected changes.